the coveted cabinet room. The premier's chosen few get to sit at this table and map out legislation for the province. Most of the ministers who sat here during the last term are coming back. With a new session two weeks away, Philman says a big cabinet shuffle wouldn't have made sense. You just can't expect to throw the entire cabinet uh, into a, a blender and, and come out uh, with, uh, with people who are going to be experienced and uh, up to speed on all of the issues to deal with. So it's a familiar team. Eric Stephenson stays on as finance minister and also takes on the lottery's portfolio. Rosemary Vaudry maintains her post as justice minister. Linda McIntosh takes over from the retiring Clayton Manis as education minister. There are three newcomers to cabinet. Jack Reimer is the new urban affairs minister. Brian Pallister takes on government services. And Vic Taves was given labour, which includes responsibility for government benefit plans. His appointment has the opposition concerned. Taves was a lawyer for Great West Life until he won his seat in Rossmere. He has an option to return to the company when he leaves public office. Insurance companies, including Great West Life, compete for government employee benefit plans through the Labour Department. He may have to deal with the company that, uh, that he's only on leave of absence from, and we think the Premier should have been more careful in his selections of uh, the portfolios for Mr. Taves. Taves says his background won't affect his objectivity. My first allegiance is, is to the, to the uh, people of Manitoba and to the office that I have. Uh, Great West Life as a company uh, will be treated like any other company. I, I owe nothing to them in that sense. Premier Philman says a new session for government will start on May 23rd. Much of the discussion will pick up where it left off before the election. Priorities for the film and government will be balanced budget legislation and stiffer penalties for people who don't keep up on family support payments. Rod Carlton, CBC News, Winnipeg.